Hello, my dear woman. Good afternoon, good day to you, wherever you are in the world. My name is Anastasia. I'm your go-to holistic health and fitness expert. Today I have big subject, big discussion on woman health as a reproductive function. We live today in such a society where women rights finally after 20th, 20th century or even 19th century we was always suppressed, we've been dominated always by men, but now we have right to work, to take CEO position, to become business owner, to lead business by yourself as a female power, become this new words of she boss or her CEO and so called. But in this run of domination business world and fulfilling all this desire as masculine desire to be successful, to be a prominent prominent entrepreneur, to be a, a female entrepreneur, to be a businesswoman, to be a board of, to be a member of board of directors to take a place and take a company public and to build some app, to build health device, to execute major surgeries, to become successful lawyer, to be pilot, to get with the guys on space and to take each industry and make it work and achieve great great results it's take a lot of sweat because as a woman still even in 21st century we need to sweat more even if our knowledge is it's allow us to take the position we still need to make work uh, to make more to work more to prove but we are also very sensitive in a matter of health in a matter of all environment, how it's come to our system and how we are fragile in the name of how any illness can approach our body, either it's physical body, emotional body and through the food. So reproduction system. Plus we have a new tendency where women don't want to get married early, where they don't want to give birth to a child early, where they choose to not use reproduction system, which is all your right. Whatever is your choice, even me, I'm in my early searches, I'm also not married, I don't have a child because I know what is my first priority. Where I fulfill my first priority, then I can look up for this to become a mother. So each of us have different wants and this want. But what is important to take care of your health through this 20s, early 20s, late 20s, early 30s, late 30s, early 40s, late 40s, it does not matter the age. It does not matter what is your choice. It's your choice and you should be happy with your choice. But you need to maintain still health of your reproduction system because if you don't take care, and not only reproduction system, there is many aspects which involve, again, healthy living, your habits. If you don't follow certain paths, you're inviting certain trouble, certain illness to your life, which would make afterwards your life difficult. It would make difficult, right? If you have some kind of disadvantage by having some diagnosis, by having some illness, to execute your CXO position, to execute your travel plans, to make a deals, to make successful deals for your company, to become a prime minister and execute the jobs that have supposed to be done, to run the, uh, for example, if you are a TV presenter, to be on the show on time and be in your best. Yes, it is difficult, it takes sweat, it is a massive job, but at the core, your health. So this is kind of pre-story.
What I want to say about reproduction system. Again, I want to repeat my statement also that any decisions that you have taken for your life, either you want to become mother in a couple of years, or you are already mother, or you are already in your 40s and you have teenage daughter, for example, or you are still in your 20s, maybe you're still not sure, you need to start. It's never too late. You need to start and look after your health. For example, let's take a look back in a century and not too far away, okay, we will not go extreme, but for example, grandparents. We will take any culture in any part of the world, any continent, each culture was having the same strategy. Back, let's say, 1940s, 90s, 50s, 1930s, it was the same. Men and women would get married, at early age, in their early 20s, 25 maximum, early 20s, it's for sure. In some cultures, of course, there is even in 15s, even in 16s, they will get married, they will have a family, and they will start a reproduction system by starting to having kids, but starting to have one after another. And at those times, it was very popular to have big families. In any culture, there was always five minimum minimum five kids six seven eight i know where there is a families in our countryside where there is was 10 11 kids even in a war time first uh, sorry second world war still there is was such a big families there is most of the time especially after war there is would be only mother who would take care of the kids so Number one, her production system of those women in 1950, in 1940, was working smoothly because once in a two years, once in a one year, once in a five year or four, she would have pregnancy, she would deliver a baby, and it was, uh, how I would put in a nice words, her reproduction system was very smooth and efficient in work, all right? And number two, she was hard working woman. And I'm not saying that today we are not working hard, but at those time, the woman would work with her husband or by herself only if her husband somewhere away again in a different kind of trips, war, army, anything that was there. She would work at the field and there is not like office schedule. It was from morning to evening. Even I would speak about my grandparents. Grandmother should take care of the cow, of all animals in the farm space, chicken, ducks, feed everyone, turkey, pigs, again cow, horse, take care of everyone, then go to the fields and come back, then an elder child would cook something, she would cook something, then again go to the field. So this was intense physical job. So she worked at the field, she take care of all animals, she cook, she walk back and forth because there is no such a thing as a taxi or scooter, anything. But even bicycle at those times was very rare and very expensive leisure. So most of the time people would walk or unless there is a lot of people would be on a horse and track, maybe sometimes, but most of the time it was walking. So she walk, she cook, she sleep very less. So she extremely working hard. She, her reproduction system is smoothly because she, in every other two, three years, she's delivering a baby and she starts early. So she starts at 18, she starts at 16, she starts at 15, or she starts in 22. But plus minus it's 15, 18 or very early 20s. So at those time, they didn't have an issue of obesity, of being choppy, of being fluffy, of having some tummy or something. I mean, honestly, they didn't have at all time to think something about how the body look or anything because they have so much of physical work which drain your power. You work with the soil at the field and if you ever 
feel a need to release your emotional level and your thoughts try to work for some time in a garden with the soil it's take a lot of power but not in a negative way but really it could take all your negativity it could take all your thoughts away but it's if you continuously work all day it's exhaust you so by the time you reach house you might even say no to dinner and you will lay down immediately, you know, there's a, a, an expression even in our culture that you lay down in a bed and at the moment when your head just touching a pillow while you, you know, going to the bed, slowly, slowly, and the moment your head touching a pillow, you already fall asleep. So there is this kind of exhaustion. So there is almost nothing like body shame, body image, not healthy by the image shame and all of this that we have today and we are facing today because of the social media, because of the media, because of the TV, because of the magazines. But they didn't have time and they don't have a need because their lifestyle, how they work, how much calories they get out of their system on a daily basis, every single day, how much calories they burn and power and fat so those fat didn't have any power to stick to the body because you just ate you work and it's all gone in mind so vice versa today today we are not working hard we are working hard with our brain we don't work hard with our physical body and when we work hard with our brain we are mostly sitting would you agree with me on it? We are mostly sitting. Like even me right now, I'm sharing this with you. I'm sitting in my office. You might be sitting at the other side of your screen, at your house, while driving, while taking a plane in the airport. You might listen to this, but most of the time you would sit also while listening to this. So most of our time, our lifestyle is sitting. We don't move much. And while also sitting, we are not sitting very correctly, you know. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me show you this side. We are not sitting very correctly, okay. Most of the time we would hold our posture a bit straight for some time. And then eventually we would start to bend, to bend, to bend. And this cortisol value would start to grow, to grow, to grow. Again, not in five minutes every day, but we are sitting every single day for eight, nine, 10, 12 hours, consciously and subconsciously. It's not only when you have work and you're sitting in the office, it's everything plus while you're driving, while you're waiting. Uh, while you sit down at the guest house or anything, you know, goes between these lines. So we don't move much and our reproductive system starts after 25th, in the late 20s, in the early 30s, 35 plus, and someone even choose to not use the reproduction system to reproduce. They have chosen to not have a babies, even if it's uh, specific of a gender preference sexually or it just preference of women that she don't feel a need or longing to become a mother in this lifetime but the things that you need to take care on it is how you take care of your health of this particular body part of your belly your tummy and this is not about having and six abs or having some lines there it's not because it's only outside. The most important is inside. How's your reproduction system and your inner organs are positioned from inside. Because again, when we sit a lot, when we eat, when we bunch eat, when we have not nice and not very healthy habits, our inner organs would be lowering down and again, this belly will be dropping more and more. And that's why you have this kind of belly. We can work out as well. If you are already working out, it's great. Maybe you work out 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, maybe one hour, three times a week, which is great. But in a matter of, <coughs> excuse me, in a matter of reproduction system health and your gynecology health, it's not enough, only gym. Because gym, it's still, it's make you some physical appeal, some lines, but it does not make sure that you are also keep 
yourself healthy from inside as well as the outside. Sometimes running gets held, but statistic it shows that there is a very small percentage who are really liking to run and you don't need to put pressure for you. <coughs> What's happening? <coughs> so what to do? My high, high, high recommendation, what you need to do, it's to do yoga practice. Or also in a mix with the Pilates, which helps a lot to move your inner organs and to move your reproductive system and to position them in the right place as nature have created you as a female, as a woman body. And you need to take care of it. Does not matter what is your choice. What is your choice? Is it you choosing to use your reproductive system or you choose to not reproduce? You need to take care to not to have an appeal of the trouble in the name of illness or any sort of unwanted surgeries. I don't think you want to experience this thing. It's not a pleasant, it's not a great thing to become ill and to go through the treatment, healing, operation, medication and long, long process of recovery. So why to wait to this extreme? Please do yourself a favor and start yoga practice. I even have here in the channel a couple of yoga sessions where you can implement. And it's not necessary that you need to do one hour every single day. Try to make even 15-20 minutes every single day full body stretch and you will see there is would be better results. Again, not in one day, it will take some time, but commitment and consistency is what needed for this results. And again, it's not about diet, it's about your choices. The choices you do today, it would reflect your harvest of your health in a 5, 10, 15 years. So if you want to be healthy around in this world in the next 15, 20, 25, 30 years, do certain practices, do certain investment in your health and your health would be thankful to you and would serve you in a long time of your lifetime in the name of your longevity, in the name of your anti-aging or gracefully aging as well because yoga is make magic as well as your on your inner organs as well on your outside appeal and also your mindset it's a great tool if you again if you are still in your 20s it's great to start as soon as possible at younger age as possible and have this habit if you are in your searches it's an amazing practice and you need it for your bones also for your muscles for your stretch forever straight posture and for again reproduction health if you are in your 40s or 50s please do it it's never too late there is women starting their 60s and 70s and it's beautiful because it's a fresh you know it's a like fresh uh, breeze of oxygen that you take and your body would change and your body would be like flowering and blossoming again and you will experience new level of your life new experience of your life which is beautiful which is mesmerizing and why i why ask yourself why cannot you give yourself this kind of gift just by practicing yoga and yoga is the ultimate science which affect your physical health your emotional health and the way you eat, the way you reflect on the situation, on stress, on other people and on force major, on force major situation, which is crucial in our life, which is happen on a regular days, basis. And it's an amazing tool to have in your life and cope with life on a regular basis. If you don't know where to start, if you never tried yoga or you tried and you don't really like it, you think it's boring or something or something, highly recommended to start with a yogi instructor, with a yoga teacher. I offer online coaching where I include yoga and Pilates, mindset and meditation. 
please do reach out to me. I have my links down below, Instagram, Facebook, and my email. You can write me an email or you can drop a message for me. We can meet over the Zoom call. I offer one-on-one -on -one consultation call where I discuss and share with you more how the coaching works and how would benefit this for you. Whatever you are at your stage, whatever you are in your life, we can transform the situation. Believe me, there is nothing like, there is no exit. Even there is something already not right, we can still fix it. And we can fix it naturally with the right food, with a beautiful exercise like yoga, pilates, and exercise with your own way. We can overcome hormonal disbalance, we can overcome menopause, we can overcome uh, difficulty with reproduction if you cannot get pregnant there's so 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 many benefits which you need to try why we are so easy to accept medication and surgery and we are so resistant on the natural treatment which make much better results which produce you much better benefits and which by the end of the day cost you less so why do we wanna overpay in the long term if you pay right now and you work you invest in yourself you learn yoga you learn pilates you learn meditation you learn how to combine fit at a certain seasons at a certain changes in your body uh, how you go through the menstrual cycle you understand this all as a science you are coping with it and you don't need any more any doctors and any physician to prescribe you some sort of medicine and it comes to everything is it's diabetes is it's menopause is it's some issue with your reproduction system is it's depression is it's antidepressants you are sitting on for a couple of years is it's stress is it's panic attack everything everything take place from your lifestyle what you eat, how you are on your regular basis, your activity level and your mindset. This is what takes place on a quality and quantity of your life in terms of longevity. So I hope this was insightful for you. You take a moment to have a thought what is important where you are right now and i would be happy to see you in my dm in my emails and meet you over the consultation call and offer you my transformation offer and it's so touching for me to transform other women life around the world which is beautiful that i can be in one part of the world you are somewhere else and i share with you my knowledge and transform your life this is so so touching I hope you like this video. If you like, please put thumbs up. I recommend to your friend who uh, maybe have also struggled with a certain subject on reproduction system. Do it together, be as a team, share with your friend, share with your daughter, share with your mother. And I can't wait to see you on the call. And I will see you also in the next video.